Good morning, everyone. It's Sherry from Shimmy's World. Hello, 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 hello. Today is Wednesday, September 25th, 2024, and we're on floss tube number 72. I'm just getting settled in. <laughs> I have my notes in front of me. I have everything spread out on the pool table in the basement. I've been up since about 5.30, got up with my husband. He had to go to work. I'm retired. Yay! <laughs> It has been a very productive month of September for me. Getting a lot done, had a lot happen. I'll talk about the personal stuff at the end in case you're not interested. I've been busy stitching. I've been busy. I've got a couple finishes. And I actually just finished six FFOs, finally finished objects, yesterday. It took me about two weeks to get it all put together. Uh, I have a lot, and I do mean a lot of haul. I went hog wild buying charts. Don't ask me why. I don't need them, but I couldn't resist some of them. So sit back, relax, get a Coke, get a water. It's going to be a long one maybe with all, just, just with the haul alone. I'm serious. Just with the haul alone. Wait until you see what I have. So let's get started with cross stitching. Uh, first, let's do the finishes. Uh, from the Just Cross Stitch Magazine, Halloween Magazine, 2022. And the first one that I finished was Want to Hang. Isn't that cute? All the fabrics that you see, I hand dyed myself. For this one, I forgot to put the information down. The border frame is hand over dyed floss that I did myself. I thought it turned out really nice. And it looks almost exactly like that. I like the way that it turned out. Is, do I have it hanging? Oh. Well, let's see. We have an upside down hanging bed. <laughs> so, yeah, I really like how this turned out on the gray fabric. I do have an oval wood frame that I'm going to paint. And that's how I think I'll finish this. So that's another finish to add to my pile for FFOing. And the other finish is from the same magazine. It's called Apothecary. And it's Potions. Uh, this fabric is just something that's in my stash. I found it at a thrift store. And there we have Potions. Uh, this is actually an FF, not an FFO, it's an SAF start and finish. I finished it within like three, four days. I couldn't stop working on it for some reason. It was easy to stitch. It was a fun stitch. So yeah, I did mine on a darker fabric instead of the light fabric that they show. I think I used all of the regular DMC colors called for. The fabric, like I said, is from the thrift store. So those are my two finishes. Uh, I've also been working on some whips from this magazine, and the first one is Broomhilda's Pumpkin Pies. I started this, I think, one or two years ago. I didn't get a lot more done, but I did get some done. I don't take before and after pictures. I probably should, but I clean off my phone so often that I just don't keep pictures like I used to. So, yeah, so we have quite a bit done. Uh, this is... Uh, fabric that I found at a at a thrift store. There was like three yards of it, so I've been using a lot of it. So I got quite a bit done. It's almost done. And then the other whip from this magazine, it's called Ghost Story Sampler. It's a biggie. Normally I don't do things with a lot of words, but this I thought was really cute. It's got a lot of little, the boo, the pumpkins, everything. Okay, I got quite a bit done, considering I only worked on this for, what, three, four days, I think. Had to, I usually start in the middle, so that was the hard part. So I did mine on a purple fabric. And I changed the purple of the stars up here to my variegated purple mix that I dyed myself. And I thought it turned out really nice. I wanted something different. So 
So yeah, so those are my two whips from that magazine that will have to wait until another year before I get back to them. <laughs> so there's that. It has to go back into that bin. Nope, oh, got to keep that with that. And I got kind of tired of working on that long banner. So in honor of my 65th birthday in August, I've decided to do 65 new Halloween starts. And, sorry. So I decided to start a couple new Halloween starts. Teresa Kogut Designs uh, was in this project bag that I also made. What I do is that I just pick a bag out of a bin. I have all of my Halloween projects already selected for the 65 new Halloween starts. 31 of them will be uh, in October from the 2024 Just Cross Stitch Halloween magazine. Sorry, I can't concentrate. <laughs> and then I have my 65, part of the 65, the 34, 31, and 34. I have a list. And I just pick a bag, and then I just start stitching on whatever's in that bag. I don't remember what's in each bag. So these are going to be starts numbers three and four for September. I just wanted, you know, just to get a little dent into it. The 31, you know, will be easy to do one start each day. So from the Teresa Colgate Designs, it's from her Hello Halloween booklet. I love this booklet. Just, you know, when it first came, the smell, you know how you get a new book? This is a very large sampler on the cover. What I've decided to do, instead of doing it as a full coverage sampler, I am going to do it in one, two, three, four, five separate projects. I might make them like the stand-up easels, long, instead of one big gigantic project. And then I can do each one individually for the sections. That's my goal, so we'll see. Okay, the first, this is start number three for my 65. This is called Onward Black Kitty. Isn't it cute? So many cute designs in this book. And I got, got, I got to a really good stopping point. I lost my cardboard already. And I got the kitty done. Started at the middle. Pumpkin, Black Kitty. Do it this way. There we go. There we go. And that's what it looks like. So I got the kitty done that's over there. I was having a hard time at first getting going on this. I don't like color charts, number one. I'm that's just me. I just don't like color charts. Uh, so I did print off a copy. I tried to for my took pictures from my iPad. And her charts, you know, they're in two pages, so trying to line up the pages. I also take pictures with my iPad, and I work with my iPad. But color charts, I had a hard start on this one, but then it got going. So I says, okay, let's just start another one. This one's called The Good Witch, and this one's going pretty fast also, The Good Witch. And I just started this last night. And I'm using four strands of floss on, I think this is a 16 count that I dyed. So, I'll, so far all I got is the kitty on top of the pumpkin. And I will be changing their DMC conversion of the pumpkins because they're using something like 434. And I'm going to try to find a variegated, see if I've dyed some variegated in a, in a darker orange or I'll see if DMC has a darker I'll see what I have in my in my stash. So yeah, so those are the two birthday starts. I think those are the only two I'm gonna do because it's already the end of the month. Can you believe it? That's why I figured I better get this floss tube out. So that's all the stitching that I've done for the month. And I'm surprised I got that much done. So that bag will have to go back upstairs so I can continue stitching on that. Next, time for a break, sorry. FFOs, finally, fin finally finished objects. She's fully finished objects. Oh, I forgot to write, where did I do with my, 
I lost my sheet on this one. It's from, the, I think it's from the 2020 or 2021 Just Cross Stitch magazine. Oh, sorry. Oops. Something with the witch riding her broomstick. I just wrote all this down. If I find the slip, I'll let you know. I just wanted something simple. It's just like a, a little jar that I painted. And it stands up. It'll stand up. So that'll go upstairs as soon as I'm done filming. That'll be easy to put someplace. I'm running out of walls, but this one I don't have to put on the wall. Okay, this is from the Just Cross Stitch Halloween Magazine 2021. It's called Ghoul Whip Hot Chocolate. Uh, this piece was bought at, oops, I got some fuzz. This was bought at Michael's, and I think these are like one or two bucks. They had like three different shapes of wood, so I just painted it. Tried to cut the inside. I know it doesn't match totally, but I thought it turned out really cute. I put some black. I don't know if you can see it. I put some black in there. And then the candy corn. I just thought I wanted to add a little bit of something, but keep it simple. I didn't want to, you know, that'll find an, an easy place to put it because it's so small. Okay. Then we have the Just Cross Stitch Magazine Halloween 2021 Nightmare Before Coffee. I put it on a headstone, added a ribbon, painted it. I think this is stained with like a dark blue. And I added some border. I did change the orange colors. For DMC, I changed 742 to 920. 743 to 921 and 744 to 922. I had to make the colors darker in order to show up on the orange fabric. Simple, easy, not too big, not too small. I thought it turned out cute. Okay, so there's that. Then we have the Just Cross Stitch Magazine 2020 called Bella Luna. Did something slightly different, put a fabric on a board on the back. I know it's a little bit crooked, you know, when you do lines, but I like it. I thought it turned out really cute. Added some buttons, painted it. Piece of wood, I think it was either from, this one's probably from Joanne Fabrics. But I thought it turned out cute. Used all the DMC call for colors. And this one's called Bella Luna. This is my favorite. This is from the Just Cross Stitch Magazine Halloween 2021. Welcome to Ghoul Garden. Look at how that turned out. I thought that turned out so cute. A headstone added border flowers. And then I added a border down here. It's the green and the orange. I didn't put a border around the actual stitch piece. I didn't think it needed it. I didn't want to take away from it. And that's a piece of fuzz. Now, I did make quite a few color changes. I wrote it down. For DMC 3078, I did use three strands. I changed the red from DMC 321 to 327. Very little bit of red right in the Vampire Villa. Uh, for Ghost Street, which is the bottom... I used 3835 for the lettering, which is like a variegated purple. For Were Werewolf Way, which is this one, I changed it. I changed the letters to 166. And then the black lettering, black lettering in these, I did I kept the same. I did change the background. For all the boards, to, from 612 to Sulky Blendables, number 4091. Now, when I stitched the boards, I stitched it in a different direction each time. Uh, this one I did. I forgot what that kind of stitch, but it's like at an angle. Sorry, I can't think today. But each board is stitched differently in the background. One time I went all the way across, all the way across, then one I did... One X at a time, then I went up and down on one. But I thought this turned out really nice. I have to find a place in the living room, I think. The living room doesn't have any walls left. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going to hang this, but I will find a place to hang this. But I thought that turned out really cute. 
Um, I did use 610 for backstitching on all the words except for the black words. Uh, I don't think the words were backstitched in the chart, but I decided to do it so that the letters would show up better because of my changes. But I really liked the way how that turned out. Then we have Sue Hillis's Christmas in the Kitchen. Yes, I actually finished a Christmas. Board was found probably at one of the craft stores. I don't remember which one. I do like to paint the backs. I tried one or two without painting the backs. I didn't like it, so I take off all stickers and paint it. Added some buttons, added some, I don't know what you would call this, beads. I even put some red bells. You can't really hear them. <laughs> and then I added the border here, and then a gingerbread stocking mitten and a candy cane. And then I put the gingerbread here, and then a holly berry. So I, thought, I thought that turned out really cute. Painted the outside red, painted the inside green. Very happy with how these turned out. I do need more Christmas. I don't need more Halloween, but I keep buying Halloween, as you will see in my haul. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, let's do big haul. It's all charts this time, and there's a lot. Uh, the first few, which are Cricut Collection, I think I showed these in the last video. But what I'm trying to do is that I am trying to pick my fabrics for each project as I buy the charts. That way all I have to do is find the floss. So Cricut Collection, I bought all of the words. This one's for February. I write up an index card. Sorry, it's on the front. I'll try to remember not to do that. Tells me all the DMC numbers I need and then the stitch count. And then I go ahead and add two to three inches. And then I have 14, 16, 18, 22, 28, because these are very large. This is 337 by 60 stitches. So I have a lot of linen in my stash. I've never stitched on linen. I will try it. I am going to force myself to try it. Um, sorry, the dogs are upstairs and they're barking. Kids must be out waiting for the bus. So I did pick out some linen fabrics. February. It's going to go like on a pink mauve. I did dye this myself. I do find a lot of my fabrics uh, right after the pandemic background. I found like three weeks in a row. Our uh, one thrift store that's local was putting out fabrics like crazy. So it was right after the pandemic. I mean, I'm talking stacks of fabrics, talking yards of fabric. So I said, you know what? I'll buy it. One day I'll use it. So there's that one. Then we have December by Cricut Collection. Let me get the card out of the way. So there's December. And I dyed a blue. Here, let's do it this way. Here, I have a dyed blue. This is a 28 count linen that I dyed. So hopefully that'll fit. I don't know when I get to these, but I think it was EJ working on one of these, and it's like, you know what? I want to do these, too. I like the way hers was turning out. Here's November from Cricut Collection. And I decided to do mine, like, on a bluish purple. Don't ask me why. I think I'm going to change the lettering. And this is being stitched on 28 count, 26 count linen. I could change the colors once I get to the project, once I decide to start stitching. I can change my colors, so no big deal. Then we have March. This is, oh, I'm not saying the stitch sizes, I'm sorry. This is 248 by 56, so these are all really large. They're not tiny. So March is going to be stitched on a 28 count monocle that I dyed. Sort of like a green, I don't know if you can tell. I have all mine in, in bags. It keeps it organized in drawers. So yeah, so there's that one. And here's an Easter one. This is 269 by 50 stitches, so another large one. And I will be changing the colors. I think these are too light. I'm gonna do a little bit brighter colors, deeper. And this is a 28 count linen. Sort of like a, a wine color with green. So I'll match the uh, DMC colors to be able to stitch on that. 
I love changing colors. Then we have October, my favorite month of the year. Only for the stitching. I don't like trick-or-treating. Just for decorating and stitching. <laughs> and this is going to be stitched on a peachy. This is 28 count linen. So it's sort of like a peachy color. Maybe a hint of a green in there. And there's a sort of on a tan. So I think that would look nice by leaving the colors like that. And this is 312 by 71 stitches. As I said, these are large. You have to be in the mood for doing these. Then we have Christmas. And the stitch count is 364 by 67. This is a biggie. Again, I'll probably change some of the colors. I don't like all the colors. And this would be stitched on a 28 count linen. Sort of like a pinky, pinky mauve, I guess. Thought that would look nice. I may change the colors on that. So those are all the Cricut collections that I bought. I figured if I'm gonna buy one, my, might as well buy them all because I do like them. Um, all of my orders came from Garan Stitchery, 123 Stitch, and Autumn Lane Stitchery. I ordered directly from Autumn Lane Stitchery. She released three of her patterns. This is Autumn Lane Stitchery, and it's called Dance Party. I love their designs. And I found a 28 monocle that I dyed. Sort of like a grayish. So I think that'll go good for this. I don't have a lighter gray, so hopefully it'll work. This has a stitch count of 86 by 120. So not too bad. That's not too big. Then we have Annabella's. It's finally fall. I love these designs. You get all of these. I love this one. I'm not a sampler person, but I really like that. And then I turned it around, and I saw it had the scarecrow pattern in there. So, I don't know, I think, and all at once, I picked a 28 count monocle green, and I think that is for this one here. Then we have the Simpler Samplers Autumn, which is the sampler here. I picked another this is an 18 count green, so I'll be doing that on green. I thought the orange would pop on a green. Then we have Pumpkin Patch, which is a scarecrow. And this is a 18 count Ada that I dyed. And this is 100 by 100 stitches, so it's not that big. So I thought that would fit nice on that. And those are the ones that I selected from there. Only three of them so far. There's, I think, seven total, and I've got three picked up from that book. Okay, then we have Little Robin Designs, and this is called Pumpkins Alight. Isn't that cute? Words. <laughs> it says, Moon Shining Bright, Pumpkins Alight, No Shadows to Fear on All Hallows Night. I just love the cat, the scarecrow, the pumpkin. And this is 219 by 155 stitches. I decided to do it on a, a darker green, and this is a 14 count Ada, since it's not too bad. I may change this to a 16 or 18, since it is 219 stitches. I don't want it to be real big, but I thought everything would pop on the green. Then we have Little Robin Designs. And this is the Halloween feather tree. Look at how cute that is. So cute. I love the cat faces, everything. And I would be stitching this on a 14 Ada purple. Because I thought the colors would, would pop on that instead of a gray. And I didn't have a, a gray. Excuse me. Hiccups. Hope I don't get the hiccups after her and pause. Okay. Then we have Madame Chantilly. And this is me and the monster, monsters tiered tray. I love tiered trays. Isn't that cute? Look at the monsters. They're all so cute. And this is 113 by 173 stitches. 
So it's not that bad. And I think this is a 14 Ada that I will be stitching it on. So it's a 14 count Ada. I love my purples. Purples and oranges are my Halloween colors. Then we have Autumn Lane Stitchery. She just released this and it's called Trick or Treat. I thought this was really cute. This is 125 by 125 stitches. And I will be stitching this on a 14 Ada. Sort of purplish blue, two shades of purple. Mine's a little bit darker than her purple, but that's okay because everything will turn out. Then we have Stitching with the Housewives Jack-O-Lantern. I love these. And this has a stitch count of 175 by 41. I decided to put it on, I think this is a 16 count Ada that I dyed. It's an orange. I think it's going to be dark enough so that the pumpkins still show up. Or I'm thinking about stitching the pumpkins in a green. And it'll offset the orange, I think. Now that I'm looking at it. Orange on orange won't go, but I think, I don't know. I may have to change that one. That may not work because of the orange pumpkins. Then we have Small Town Needleworks. I think this is the first one I've bought by them, and it's called Bits of Halloween. Isn't that cute? I have to look through my wood stuff to see how, if I have something similar to this that I could put it on. I love the dark purple fabric. This is 115 by 123 stitches, and this is a 14 Ada purple that I'm, I will be stitching it on. Not as dark as theirs, but I think it'll be dark enough. Just think I have to put all these away one day. Yeah. I'll just leave the card here. Stony Creek, you say which? Well, I'll take the card out so we can get the full. I love the colors. I love the hat. I have a thing for witches' hats. I don't like daisies, but I like it on this. So I thought that was really cute. And I will be stitching this on a 14 purple Ada. Not too dark, not too light. And this has a stitch count of 100 by 105, so not too big. Another Teresa Colgate. This will match the one that I'm doing from her booklet. This is called October's. I love those scarecrows. This is 134 by 134 stitches. And I decided to do it on an 18 Ada green. I thought that would look nice. I think they'll pop on that green. I think I have to do some color conversions because I don't have specialty threads. So no big deal. I have plenty of threads. Then we have Heart and Hand. Thankful Tiny Town came out. I love these tiny towns. This is gonna, I'm gonna have to find a way to do this. Now I've decided to change some colors on this. Instead of the blues, I think I'm gonna do like a like a plummy purple. And I'm gonna be stitching mine on an orange. And this is an 18 Ada, because these are long, and that way they'll turn out a little bit smaller. Uh, count size is 176 by 30, so not too bad. But yeah, so I'm going to stitch that on that, and I am going to change some of the colors. I Something's telling me plummy purple. I don't know why. Plummy purple. And my hearing aid batteries are going, so if I start talking too loud, sorry, because I am not stopping this video to change my hearing aid batteries. But I can hear myself talk. <laughs> okay, now we have Lindy Stitches Sleepy Owl Pumpkin Patch. Look at how cute those owls are. Look at the one sleeping on the pumpkin. I thought these were so cute. This is a little bit larger. This is a 225 by 122 stitches. And I'm going to stitch mine on a bluish green. And this is an 18, 16 Ada doesn't show up too good but I just thought these were so cute so so cute it's probably one of my favorites I can't wait to stitch that one then we have Madame Chantilly and this is called Halloween Caroline sorry I don't Carillion look at all those houses I love those houses and the different colors that she used 
And this is a stitch count of 116 by 172. And I'm stitching it on like a purplish green, and it's a 16 Ada. So it won't be too big. So I thought that would kind of show up instead of a gray. Give it a little bit of color. Smoky color in the background. I love Madame Chantilly, too. She's becoming, they're becoming one of my favorites. I could not pass these next two up. Three, four. I actually bought something that is not five. That is not Halloween. Puppy dogs. This is December Stitches. Celebrate America. Isn't that adorable? This is my first chart by them. It's 190 by 111 stitches. And I did find an 18 Ada in my stash that I dyed that's sort of like a light blue. So I thought that would look really nice on that. Finally, designers are putting dogs. I love my dogs. Then I decided to buy It's So Emma July Fireworks because I already have an idea of how I'm going to finish this. It's a canning jar that's for patriotic and I actually have wood canning jars that I found. So this will go perfect on there. This is only 42 by 56 so it's very small. So this is an old, old piece of Ada. I can cut off the sides. I used to do masking tape. You know how we used to tape them from the old days. No big deal. I, I can cut that off once I stitch it. No harm. Then we have Little Robin Designs, and this is called the Freedom Feather Tree. Tears in Trees. Patriotic. This has a stitch count of 94 by 146. And I will be stitching mine on a darker blue that I found in my stash that I dyed. Just a random piece of blue. I keep all my scraps. I throw nothing away. I used to throw the smaller pieces away. Not anymore. Okay, this is Sister Lou Stitches. This is my first chart by her. Them. Sorry. And it's called Freedom Pups. I fell in love with this. One, two, three, stitch. Look at how cute that is. I will be changing... The colors of these three dogs, I think. The black and white one can be our mocha. And then I'm going to make a tan one sort of like our java. And I'm just stitching that on a blue that's kind of like mottled. I think it's a 14 or a 16 count. And this only has a stitch count of 120 by 67. But I really, really like that. And I think I have some... Um, fabrics that have dogs with patriotic so I can finish it with that. I didn't show this with the other Cricut collection because it's patriotic but I did get the July one also and this is going to be stitched on a 16 Ada blue and I might change some colors I'm not sure. I don't think I'll need to I think this will really pop on the darker blue so I may be able to keep keep the colors and this is 197 by 52 stitches. Like I said, I really like the Cricut collection. Don't ask me why I didn't have them. Another new release by Autumn's Lane Stitchery. This one's called Witch's Hollow. I just love all the colors. Now, she has a Facebook group page, and somebody mentioned that this is not full coverage, that the orange is not stitched. So, I found an 18 Opal. Can you see the shininess? Here. I found an 18 opal that I dyed in orange. Can you see the sparkles? So I thought that would look so cool. Orange snow is what I thought of. You sort of have like white snow. So I thought that would go perfect. Another one that I'd like to get started right away. And this has a stitch count of 140 by 196. So it is a little bit larger, but I think 18 count will work perfect. But I'm so glad, you know, that I belong to some of these Facebook group pages because I thought every I thought this was a completely full coverage, but it's not. The orange is the fabric. So relieved to hear that. <laughs> then I bought Stony Creek had a Labor Day sale. I think it was 20 or 30% off patterns. So I bought some of the pattern of the month series. The only one I bought from this one 
is Screechy Halloween, and it was the Witchy Fox. This has a stitch count of 59 by 59. I thought that would make a cute ornament. I only like this one out of all of them, so I only bought the one. I thought that was cute. These I do not have fabrics for because I have to be in the mood to do Stony Creek. Okay, then we have all four of these. Pattern of the Month, PM 2201. 2202, 2203, 2204, and these are the Witch's Brew. I like the houses. I have a thing for Halloween houses, so I bought all of them. And I will be stitching them as one picture as shown on number four. That's how I want to do it, make it look like a village. I thought I was going to do individual, and then I saw the back of this. So I will be doing all four of those together. Yeah, I mean, it saves money in the long run because they offer these free once a month when they do their series, but you have to pay the $3.95 or whatever the postage is. I bought a lot of these, and I think I paid like 5 or $8 for postage for everything. So it's like, I'm not, I'm not going for the free stuff no more. It's, I'll wait to get the whole series at once. This is Tis Near Halloween. These are the 2024 ones, and I did get all four of them. So there's the witches, the cats with the pumpkin, the tree, and then we have the pumpkin. So yeah, I think it was, yeah, three, four, four. So that's everything. Oh, okay, because the pumpkins are used in the one with the moons. I may not stitch that one. But at least I have them. Like I said, I don't need Halloween. Um, then we have, I don't know why I didn't have this, but 2015, I bought four of them. This is the May, it's called Halloween. Here's the May one. Here's the June. Here's July, and then we have August. I don't know why I didn't have these, and then that's how they did it. I'm not sure if I'll be stitching all these together or if I'll do individual ones. I can make them into stand-up easels, no big deal. Then we have the Halloween stand-ups by Stony Creek. I figured, you know, with the 30% off charts, might as well get them. I thought all three of these were really cute. We have the witch, the trick-or-treat, and then we have the welcome with all the ghoulies. And I'll make them into stand-ups. I mean, those are pretty easy to do. I use Sue Hillis's instruction. She has an instruction booklet for the easels. I call them stand-ups. So, yeah, so there's that. And then I saw their one of their magazines that I liked. And this is the summer 2024. It's their most recent, I think. Stony Creek Magazine. And this is everything that's in it. Let's stand up. Ooh, my hips, my legs. I love this Christmas one here. Of course, Halloween. The spooky, the towels. Look at this scarecrow. Isn't he cute? And look at this. This is cute, too. Uh, I like the welcome for fall. I mean, a lot of cute designs in this magazine. It's got a little bit of everything. So, yeah, so I did pretty good. I mean, to get that kind, and the orders came quickly. Even Stony Creek's order came quickly. It, well, it took a couple extra days than the other places do, but. So, do you think I'm crazy? This is my haul in just one month. I'm done. I'm not going to buy no more this year. Well, I can't say that because I just put in an order to one, two, three stitch for three more charts that I just had to have. So, yeah, I think this is the most I've ever bought in a month. I just went hog wild. I mean, what do you do? I'm retired. I can do it. What, you know, might as well go for it. <laughs> um, plans. My October plans will be... I stitch one new project a day in October. I have everything picked out with all the fabrics. 
for the 31 projects I will be doing. And it's from the 2024 Halloween Cross Stitch Magazine. Oh wait, this is the wrong one. This is 2020. I want 2024. I need to pause. Sorry. Sorry. 